All right, folks, today's video did not go as I thought it would. And fortunately for you, that is in your best interest. So let's back up here. One of the most popular pre-build PCs on the market is the streaming PC from NZXT. It's a pre-build, a lot of gamers love it, streamers love it, and for very good reason. It comes with a 5600X processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and the very popular RTX 3070. And all of this built for you for 1500 bucks. Now I've been using this exact PC as my main gaming and content creation PC, so I'm very familiar with it. I absolutely love it, but now I'm wondering two things. The first thing is with the price drops we've seen with GPUs, how much cheaper would it be to just build this exact same PC yourself? The second thing I'm wondering is, what if you took that same $1,500, could you build an even better PC using any parts you want? You're gonna find the answers to both of these very, very interesting. Let's take a look first at the parts list. So real quick, big shout out to Jake's Tech Bytes, who is one of our Discord mods. Uh, he helped with a lot of the research behind this. We put this all in one place, so it's easy for you, the viewer, to see, so we're not bouncing around pages here. But right here, you can see this is what you are going to get with your $1,500 when you buy the NZXT streaming PC. One thing to note is it looks like NZXT actually got rid of their shipping fee. So normally there was always a $50 shipping fee that you would kind of have to factor into the price there. That's gone. Free shipping, at least here in the US. I don't know how it is internationally, um, but if you were to go through and build this yourself part by part, and this is assuming you're gonna get Windows 10 for around 15, 20-ish bucks, and uh, obviously I'll have a link down in the description below where you can get a key for much cheaper than if you were to buy directly through Microsoft. You can build this thing for $1,483. It's hard to justify, I mean, it's fun putting PCs together, but it's hard to justify saving $16 when a pro can put it together for you uh, without blowing up any parts. So that was surprise number one, that even with the GPU drops right now, NZXT has got this thing priced really, really good. Like you are not getting screwed by buying the NZXT with these parts at $1,500. So that brings us to our second question here. What if you took that same $1,500 budget and just went out and specced out the best possible PC for someone who wants to stream and game? Well. What we ended up building here, and again, big credit to Jake for this, is incredible. We're talking a PC twice as powerful. Let's take a look at the parts here. I am legit excited to show you this. I'm gonna break the news right now. We are keeping not only the 3070, but we are also keeping the 5600X. We are keeping that same processing power, that same graphics. So if you wanna use this as just like a really good gaming PC, you will be able to run high settings on every game, Ultra in many cases, I personally have played Ultra settings, Call of Duty, not streaming. I would not run Ultra and stream on this PC, but if you're playing without streaming, you can get some really good intensity out of this card and CPU combination. And it gets better. We are going 32 gigs, okay? 16 gigabytes is what you're gonna get on the other PC. We're going 32 on sale right now. 20 bucks off, you're getting this for $100. Yes, it's not one of the big brands, but it's got great reviews. I've looked into this. You're not paying for the big marketing dollars, really. Like you're getting great performance out of this. So now we have doubled our RAM, DDR4, 3200. I think that's actually a little bit faster than what you're getting with the streaming PC. And then in terms of the space, the storage, we are also doubling that. The streaming PC comes with one terabyte. Here, you are getting two terabytes, and we don't have to sacrifice speed on this. Uh, I, I was originally hoping that we can get like a one terabyte SSD and then maybe squeeze in some extra slower storage, you know, for the games that maybe you don't play quite as often. But no, we are talking M.2 fast memory right here, sorry, fast storage right here, double what you get with the streaming PC. Now, one cut we do have to make to, to make this budget fit is uh, we will not be getting a B550 motherboard. We're gonna be getting a B450 motherboard. I own this, as you can see, it's been great. Uh, it's got Wi-Fi built in. So if for whatever reason you can't plug in to uh, some sort of ethernet connection, you at least have the ability to go Wi-Fi if needed. 
Um, but obviously do whatever you can to make ethernet connections happen here. For the power, uh, we're gonna be going just as strong. 850 gold plus all that, like we're talking good power here. EVGA, this is a solid brand. $90, this thing is a big sell. Like the fact that we can make this happen right now is crazy. Um, so again, check out the Tech Audit TV website. Deals happening all the time where we're able to catch stuff like this. Normally 170, you can get it for 90 right now. And then for the case, we are going with the H510 Flow case. So the streaming PC comes with just the normal H510. It's a great case, I love it. But I hate the fact that the front's just sealed off. The Flow takes that same sexy, almost Apple-like design, adds a little bit more functionality for uh, cards that need to breathe. And we've got a 30 series card in here. And even though it can function fine in an H510, why not add that extra airflow there? So we've got that a better case. Now, one thing we're not adding on is we're not adding on a cooler. The CPU here comes with the Wrath Stealth cooler. That's like the stock cooler on here. So yes, it's not as good as a cooler, um, but there, there is an upgrade option I will show you. So what we're gonna be doing instead uh, to make up for that, cause we gotta throw some fans right here in the front is we've got this deal right here, 35 bucks with this 10% uh, coupon. You get this Antec 120 millimeter fans. You get five of them, you're only gonna need four, but you can swap out all the fans in the unit. And now you've got the system cooled well. These fans with the combination of the flow, I believe make up for the lack of cooler on there. And you also get all that extra aesthetic. So if RGB is something that you really, really wanna have, now you can have it all within the budget. So let's take a look at this list again and see what the, the, the total price is. Boom, check that out. $1,500 budget. We only went $10 over, okay? Sue me, but here is the thinking here. If you really do wanna, you, you have to stay under that 1,500, what you can do is on that five pack down here, you can go and get a three pack and just replace, or sorry, I guess just put in the two fans. The case only comes with two fans. So you put that in the top and the, on, on the back. You can throw two of those three on the front and you're good to go and you'll definitely stay under budget, but just spend the extra $10, get all five, and then use four of those to swap out everything in the case. And now you've got RGB all the way around. If you really do want a cooler, what you can do is cut out that $35, $36 cost on the RGB fans and then go with this uh, $87 uh, AIO cooler, which is a great cooler, highly rated. So you have some options there. And again, I'm gonna list everything down below. Uh, all of this has been checked for compatibility. So you don't have to worry about if certain things are, are not gonna work. If you stick to this list, you will be fine. But you just saw what we did there. We built the streaming PC, the same price and everything, but we just doubled the performance. This is a great PC. And the fact that you can build this right now for $1,500, maybe I'm still stuck in the pandemic pricing, but boy, oh boy, is it nice to see such a high performance PC for only $1,500. So let me know what you think of that build. Is it a banger or am I missing something here? I would love to hear your comments down below. If the video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you are wondering more about the streaming PC, I will uh, throw two videos over here for you. The first one is gonna be a unboxing of the streaming PC. The other one is gonna be my full thoughts on it. So have at it.